the public crisis of confidence in the Supreme Court didn't start with its overturning of Roe v. Wade. In 2000, the court ended the Florida vote recount in the election between George W. Bush and Al Gore, clearing the way to certify Bush's win. The controversial 5-4 ruling hurt the court's legitimacy among Democrats and further divided an already fiercely polarized nation. Just five days after that decision, the House Democratic leader, Dick Gephardt, appeared on this program and refused to call George W. Bush the legitimate next president. The Supreme Court decision, was that based on law or politics? Well, uh, we have to accept that decision. I criticized the decision. I didn't think it was the right decision. I wish we could have counted all the votes. But the court made its decision. So George W. Bush is the legitimate 43rd president of the United States. George W. Bush is the next president of the United States. Well, well, but is he legitimate? And we have, is, we is have he, to respect, he... we have to respect the, the presidency. We have to respect the law. And we have to work with him to try to solve the people's problems. That's the task in front of us now. But why can't a leading Democrat say he is a legitimate president of the United States? He is the president of the United States. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.